Hi, okay, so today we're just gonna do a little focused exercise uh, to concentrate on fun one of the fundamentals of Pilates. So it's all about that core, core engagement and starting at a really low level to start building up strength in the core and in the lumbar spine. So this is our marching exercise. So this is where we're gonna progress through a few levels where the spine comes into um, imprint. So we're engaging through those deeper abdominal muscles through the pelvic floor before starting to peel away the heel for your level one, then your level two to start to peel away the heel and the toe to take the foot, just hover the foot above the floor for your level two. And then we will come into our level three where we'll take that leg up into tabletop so the knee above the hip. So I'm gonna show you through those three levels. Uh, and then from that point, we would then come into, take it into a table proper, true tabletop position where we'll lift both the legs up into that position. So I'm just gonna talk through those few different layers there. So let me just start by popping the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so coming onto the mat and lying down into that neutral or natural curves of the spine. So the feet lining up with the sit bones, heels lining up with the middle of your bottom there. Light bend through the knees, back of the pelvis on the floor, that sense of a little gap in the lumbar part of the spine, so depending on the shape of your spine, you may or may not have a natural curve there, mine's quite pronounced, but, um, and just resting on the back of the shoulder blades and head on the floor. Hands would be down by sides. I might just lift this hand just to show what's going on. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come into an imprint. So remember with the imprint, we're thinking about sliding that bottom rib towards the hip and then drawing the belly button down. So it's sliding bottom rib towards hip, drawing that belly button down. So seeing, I can feel my lower back now lightly pushing into the mat. So I know that I'm supported through the lower back. So see how that's different from a pelvic tilt when we tilt the pelvis. There's much more rock coming through my pelvis. I can feel my bum cheeks just starting to peel away from the floor. So that's the difference between your pelvic tilt where we're tilting the pelvis towards the body, rolling that marble into the belly button, and the um, imprint where I'm sliding the rib to the hip and drawing the belly button down. So it's more of a drawing in and down towards the floor. So now I'm in my imprint here. From here, I'm just gonna start to peel one heel away and lower, and then the other side. So it takes a lot of focus. You need to be holding onto this imprint so you're having to take the breath out to the sides of the rib cage. So breathing out into the seams of your t-shirt. Okay, so we can just work through maybe five peels, each heel here, or building up to five peels before releasing. So then you see my neutral, uh, natural curves coming back into my spine here when I release that imprint. So that's your level one. Level two, would be again to re-imprint the spine. So we're always gonna come out of that imprint and then come back into it between levels. So sliding ribs to hips, drawing the belly button down, feeling the waistband of your trousers or your lower back lightly pushing against the carpet or into the mat here. And then from here then, I'm gonna peel one foot away and just hover it above the floor. So that's substantially more work, more effort required to just peel the whole foot up and just lifting up from side to side. Now you could just do one each side and then come out of your imprint and have a rest. Or you could build up to work up to a set of maybe five repeti repetitions on each foot. So it's just a really small move, but I'm having to keep this core engaged the whole time. So this is really taking it back to basics where we're just starting to build up core strength and strength in the lumbar spine. Okay, I'm releasing back to my natural spine here and then I'm going to take it up into that full tabletop position so again I'm going to come into imprint ribs to hips belly button drawing down okay so from here feeling nice and supported by the floor this time I'm going to pick up my left leg and I'm going to lift that knee all the way up so that my knee is above my hip now this isn't always easy to see uh, for yourself because you're not looking from sideways on what we're aiming for here is a knee above the hip and for the shin to be parallel to the floor. And then lowering back down with control, nice and gentle. And then the other side, so bringing that leg up into that tabletop position. 
and lowering down. So using the breath, we would breathe out to lift up, inhale to lower. So we do that on each side. So I'm still in my imprint. I'm still thinking about drawing down. So I'm going to take a breath in to prepare, breathing out to lift. I might hold here for an inhale and then breathe out to lower. Or if I want to speed it up, I'm going to breathe out to lift and inhale to lower. back into the natural curves. I'm just going to show you the final final stage for this which would be to bring both legs up into tabletop. So this is only working into this level when you feel confident that you can hold um, that core engagement for maybe four repetitions on each leg without having to take breaks. So then again we're going to take that imprint sliding the bottom rib towards the hip, drawing the belly button down, feeling everything drawing in and down, nice and supported by the lower back here. Uh, by the mat, sorry, lower back nice and supported. Breathing out to pick one leg up. I'm going to hold and take a breath in. And then breathing out, I'm going to pick my second leg up. Okay, so then I take a breath in here. And breathing out, I'd lower the first leg back down, nice and controlled. And then the second leg back down. So you're always bringing one leg down at a time so that we're always thinking about the safety of the lower back coming back into neutral. And then you would build up to hold the legs up there for longer. So if I was in my imprint again, floating one leg up, floating the second leg up, I would work to hold this position here. So just holding here for three breaths. So I'd build up to this, taking one nice breath out to the side of the rib cage. As I breathe out, think about that engagement again, that drawing down, just checking the lumbar spine isn't popping up at all. I know, take two or three deep breaths in here. The whole time thinking about keeping nice and strong through the lower back, that belly button drawing down. If at any point I feel my back start to pop up like this, I'm going to bring one foot down then the other and just have a rest and maybe come back to it a bit later. Okay, so there are levels for the marching exercise, which is a great um, Pilates fundamental or an essential exercise uh, to really start to build up core strength um, and lumbar spine strength. So this is a really good rehab exercise, really good for getting the um, core working. So this, this would be something that I would always practice with um, absolute beginners or maybe if you've had an injury or if you've had um, problems with the lower back. Uh, this is a really great exercise to practice.